Welcome to Knowledge Powerhouse. We go on to the next question in Docker interview question series. What are the common use cases of Docker? So mainly this question asks your knowledge and experience about what are the places you have used the Docker or what are the places you can use Docker. And this is from software development perspective. So the Docker uses are like this that the common Docker use cases which I'm specifying. Number one, we can set up a development environment using Docker. So like whenever we have a dev environment where we have to run multiple applications, then what we can do is that uh, we can have, uh, instead of installing Oracle, instead of MySQL, all these things in our local, what we can do is that we can have multiple Docker containers and each Docker container can have all these services running and then we can start using this in our local. So whatever our code is dependent on, let's say we are running a REST service, we need a Apache web server, we need some Tomcat. So we can have all these running in a Docker container on our local machine. In this way, there's no extra effort required to install and like obtain some kind of a virtual machine and all that. We can every, run everything on our local. Second use case is testing automation setup. If we have to create a testing automation setup, then we need to provide a testing environment. In that, we have to provide support of multiple services and the apps that are needed for running the test cases. So in, with using the Docker, we can create this kind of environment. So for test automation, it's much easier. And there are multiple use cases within the test automation, like different kind of test cases. At that time also, we can use Docker for creating those kind of scenarios. And once your test is done, you can get rid of those Docker containers. Then third use case is production deployment. This is also an important use case where we can implement the deployment to production of our application by using Docker. So what we do is that we create exactly the same environment that will be running in production by using Docker. And then we set up a process which is used for like doing the deployment to production. So in this way, whatever way we are deploying in our local, same way exactly we can specify will run and the this thing and it will be deployed to the production. So life becomes much easier and it becomes very predictable that what are the issues we can face during deployment because all those de deployment instructions are in one specific Docker file. So that way there are no surprises. 